Brooke, I guess just talk a little bit about what last week was like for you as far as, you know, game wasn't canceled until Friday, so you kind of went through the week knowing that you were preparing to play Saturday and Sunday. So just talk a little bit about the uh, chaoticness of the week. Yeah, I think um, after being in a routine for seven straight weeks of having not been missed a game or, or been canceled or postponed, it was a little bit of a different situation for us, but um, really proud of our team for just continuing to focus. And, you know, we didn't cancel. We backed up or we pushed back Friday, Saturday to Saturday, Sunday, I think, uh, like Wednesday. And so we knew we would have an extra day in there, and we got canceled for practice on Wednesday, actually. But um, just tried to work on us and continue to prepare for Middle Tennessee because we didn't cancel until Friday, so we thought we were going to play on Saturday. So just – correcting some things for from us from the previous week, continuing to work on some um, areas of improvement, and then our prep for middle um, into Friday. And then after we, we canceled on Friday, um, you know, then practice turned more of a focus to more so us. And then um, we started looking a little bit ahead to Rice um, with our team. Our staff obviously had been, but um, giving our team just a little bit. But so much of it, um, when you have a week like that, it's just trying to keep them engaged and um, felt like we were coming out a really good week at UAB and wanted to maintain that momentum and just kind of keep them in that mindset. And um, I think it was good for us to have a break, you know, just with our legs and kind of get that back under us. And um, it was kind of weird for us to be on that side of it for once. We've had, I think, four games with our opponents had at least two and a half weeks to prepare for us so it was kind of nice to be on the other side of that but ultimately we wanted to play our players wanted to play middle tennessee wanted to play and um, just appreciate our administration for trying to do everything they could to to allow our players to play in a safe way like they've done all year long questions go ahead Bo. just talk to us about how hard it was trying to hold practice in the middle of an ice storm especially there Thursday, the roads are icy, that kind of thing. I mean, that couldn't have been easy. Absolutely. I think first and foremost, you know, is the safety of our players and our staff and making sure that, um, you know, no one was driving or out in it. Um, we had, you know, Malcolm did a great job of helping with his uh, four-wheel drive, get us to and from practice. Um, we would, we basically had two locations to pick up our players because they live in two spots. And so, that was pretty simple and you know it was really close on campus to our um to the arena and then to memorial gym so that was easy but i think our players didn't want to be stuck you know they've been in quarantine they've been in uh situations where they've been away from each other and they didn't want to be stuck in their apartment so it was fun for them to kind of get out and release some energy and um, we just wanted to make sure that we were being as safe as possible as far as them you know, walking around outside and, you know, not slipping as they're, you know, walking down the sidewalk or anything like that. But we also wanted to maintain some fun um, and competitive nature to it. We, as we practiced, we got to, I think it was Friday, and um, we played dodgeball at the end of practice and just had fun. And it was another way to compete, but also just a way to, it's February and you're in the middle of the grind. And I don't think that as coaches, we can just pound on them right now. Your team is either in a really good spot or they're not in a good spot. And our team is in a good spot um, mentally and we need to keep them there. And so we needed to continue to compete and we needed to have some fun. And it was a lot of fun to watch our players um, go at each other, throw some balls at, at, at the staff um, and have a little fun with that. So it was, it was interesting to watch them compete, but I thought their approach and their mindset, they really wanted to play last weekend and they are really excited about playing this weekend. And that's been kind of the theme for this group all along is they want to play. And, um, you know, we've been fortunate to have an administration and a group of student athletes and coaches that want to play and they're going to do everything they can to allow that to happen in a safe manner. And we've been really fortunate with that. And so they were disappointed, um, but they quickly turned that disappointment into, um, okay, how can we use this to our advantage? Let's pivot to the next thing and let's adapt. and. Uh, the way they've done all year long. So I was excited to see them have a little fun. Um, sometimes you just got to laugh and, and smile, and you can do that through competing in a different way too. And it was a little, um, you know, reaction time training as well, a little dodgeball. Yeah. Coach, as you look ahead to this week, obviously a, a tough task down in Houston uh, with Rice. Uh, what do you see in their club, uh, like you said, late in February, uh, as you're really trying to 
uh, hit your stride as we enter into March and get ready for the conference tournament. Absolutely. Um, well, obviously you see the defending um, conference regular season champs. You see a 6'9 player, Nancy Mulkey, that's a great rim protector and a scorer for them. Um, they're very solid defensively. They're, I think in conference games, they're right behind us in scoring defense. Um, they lead it, lead the league in field goal percentage defense, three-point percentage defense, so many areas um, on the defensive end. And you've got to be so good offensively in order to generate some points and some easy baskets um, because you're just not going to get that many opportunities. The way they, they play offense and um, the way they control the ball um, with their Princeton and just they're, they're methodical in what they do and they know exactly what they're trying to, to get out of each possession. And they do a really good job of that. Um, you've got to be great in transition defense and, and guard the three-point line. I think their perimeters do an excellent job of defensive rebounding and pushing. And we've got to be really solid in making sure that we don't give up easy points in transition. We did that there last year. Thought we did a much better job here. and. Uh, led you know the whole game until they tie it on the last possession with about 12 seconds to go um, here in Ruston that last or week before the last week in the season regular season last year and lost in overtime but uh, it's gonna be a tough test but they you know they law they're coming off a loss against Marshall at Marshall um, on Saturday and I know they'll be focused and they'll be ready to go they're very tough at home but we also like where we are and we're excited about the opportunity to go um, play two games this weekend and have a chance to, to knock them off on their home court. You know, I think we're the last team in conference play to beat them there. And, um, you know, this team has a lot to play for. You were coming off a big series. You lose last week suddenly. I mean, you were hoping for it didn't happen. Any, any concerns of a, a little bit of a hangover? How hard will it be to, to to keep that mo maintain that momentum you had built up. Well, I mean, I guess we'll see on Friday. It, it's been really good in practice. I thought Monday's workout was really crisp, and I liked their energy and their demeanor. Um, they're excited. I think we have an, you know, our older players. Um, when you look at some of our our perimeter players and uh, Walker and Dixon and and Razel, like they've been in this situation before and they know what to expect. And this is the fun part of the season where sometimes you can get in January and early February where, you know, it doesn't feel like it's that that moment. And I think they understand that that's what this is. And so I don't think it's going to be hard for them to um, continue on with that momentum. You know, you wonder, okay, did you having a week off, how does that affect you? How does it impact you? But I think, you know, we've just tried to look at it. Hey, it's a time to get, get your legs back under you. You know, we were one of three teams that had played every conference series and we'd gone seven straight weeks. So um, we're looking at it as a positive of, you know, we're going to legs back under us and um, get a lot of extra shots up and then focus on us. But I, I've really liked where their demeanor has been, their mindset and, um, I think that'll be a carryover. I thought we saw that going into our, our games at um, UAB with their practice um, intensity and focus, and we've seen that so far. So hopefully that'll carry over um, Friday and Saturday. Go ahead, Ben. Coach, you mentioned that Mulkey's 6'9 inside. I'd imagine she alters a lot of shots around the rim. Um, how do you go about attacking uh, a girl like her uh, when it's you know really rare that you ever see someone of that size in the women's game? Yeah, fortunately, you know we've most of our players, other than our freshmen, have faced her, and so they. I think until you actually face that, you don't understand what you're dealing with, and you know we as a staff can say, hey, you're not going to be able to drive in there and shoot over, and and they'll still try it. Um, but our returners understand that we've got to be able to make her move. We've got to be able to move the ball, as with anybody. Um, we've got to get ball reversal and play multiple sides of the floor in order to get the closeouts that we need to attack. And we're still going to play through the paint. You know, we're not going to go out there and, you know, take a bunch of threes. This group has not, um, we've been best when we haven't done that and we've played through the paint. So we'll continue to do that, but we've got to be wise about what we do. We're not going to make one pass to Wayne, throw it inside and expect to turn around and, and make a post move and score on her. Um, we've got to put um, our, our bigs in some situations that allow us to be successful. And we've got to, we've got to attack her. We can't be passive, um, but we are going to have to knock down some, some open jumpers, and then we've got to have some other people step up and, and make some plays. But we've got to make her move and um, get, continue to play through the paint and uh, get good ball reversal and attack those closeouts when we, when we can. But can it, talk she a little bit about oh. um, you know you play these two games this weekend and then you've got about a ten day window between 
between that when the conference tournament starts. Obviously, we don't have a makeup series in conference play because Middle's already got one scheduled. Um, so just talk a little bit about kind of the game plan for those 10 days. Absolutely. Well, we're kind of in the process of that. We're trying to find a, a non-conference game, just someone regionally that we can compete with just to stay in the rhythm and flow. Um, you know, we had that conference had built in that week for those makeups. And for us, fortunately, we didn't have any. Um, you don't want to be off that long, but we also have our scout guys and we'll, we'll scrimmage against them like we did last weekend and do some different things. But we're trying um, to schedule that game. You're, you're looking at a bunch of um, limitations in terms of most of the schools, you know, in the Sun Belt and the Southland, they're either going into their conference tournament or they're still playing games um, and using that week as makeup games as well and have games scheduled already. So um, we'll try to figure that out. And, and that's kind of a, a daily, um, hourly process right now. But we're looking to add something if it works out and, and you know, they're testing protocols match what you know our conference requires and making sure that we're continuing to stay um, compliant with those and put our players in the best um, position to be successful but we want to play you you obviously want to continue to play and, and stay in a rhythm but um, if not we'll we'll adjust and we'll um, make sure that we utilize that time wisely we're also in finals and so monday tuesday um, when we come back you know we have a lot of players that have um, two and three finals and um, exams going into next week and so we've got to make sure that we're giving them the time to to finish well academically and finish the quarter off on a good note as well anything else guys all right thanks bro appreciate thanks, you guys bro. thanks coach enjoy the sunshine and warm weather finally <laughs>